Hi everybody, welcome back to the Native Family. If you are new here, welcome, and if you're returning, hey family, I have a pretty good size Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. Haven't done a Dollar Tree haul probably since uh, December of last year, but I wanted to go in and see what kind of cleaning supplies they had, and I needed some pantry stuff. I've been really careful on what I do pick up at the Dollar Tree because I don't want a house full of Dollar Tree stuff that I'm not gonna be using. And there's no sense of me picking it up and having it in my house if somebody's out there looking for it that that's actually going to use it. So like as far as like decor and stuff, I don't decorate for summer, spring. I don't do 4th of July. My holidays that I go all out for and decorate for are Halloween and Christmas. So there, there's really nothing like nautical theme. I'm not into the nautical theme. I live five minutes away from the beach, but it's not my thing. I love the beach, but I don't want it in my house. So I'm not picking up any of those kind of items. Everything that you see here today that I'm gonna show you are things that we have purchased in the past or we are going to utilize that we haven't tried before. I really like getting stuff for the pantry, the cleaning supplies, crafting, and some beauty supplies. So I, like I said, I pay a little bit more attention to what I'm spending. I'm not just gonna buy things just to have them and say, oh, I found them first or this is new. If it's new and I'm going to use it, I would try it. But as far as that, I've really slowed down quite a bit, even though you're going to see quite a few things in this haul. But trust me, they will all be used. One item I did pick up for decor is this beautiful picture with the moon phases on it. It's done in black and gold, and it is just so pretty. It says, live by the light of the moon. I absolutely adore the moon, the moon phases. I love stars. This is something that has brought me joy since I was a child. Eventually, I would like to share with you guys some of the decor that I do have, you know, with the moons and all the different things that, you know, just make my heart happy. But I did pick it up. The only thing I wasn't excited for, that the frame is in white because all my gallery um, pictures up on my walls are done in black frame. So I might have to paint the frame. And then books. Books are another thing I love picking up at the Dollar Tree. You can discover authors that you would have never just read just to pick them up at regular stores. But I am a huge fan of Prince and Maite Garcia. I loved them two together. It was one of you know the favorite relationships that he ever had. And to be able to find her story on their journey together at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, I was like, yeah, because originally this book sold for $27. And they did have it at Target for 30% off. I can't wait to read this, you know, going to the beach with the kids or if we're going fishing with the hubby, I can just sit down and enjoy this as a read. Picked up the girls a couple books too. This one's called The Haunted. And both of these books that I'm about to show you were originally $17.99 and they were sold in Target. So this one looks like a good little ghost book. And this one says Tears of Frost. It says when the moon is weeping, the witches do their reaping. I just really thought this was a beautiful book and even if the girls read it I'll probably read it after them too because it looks like a pretty quick read so we picked up those books and then my daughter is going to be turning 19 but she loves Disney she loves Coco the movie oh she's so in love with it she has so many things from it she also loves Coraline now if I can come across Coraline figurines like this it would be amazing but I figured these would make really good cake toppers because they're very light and they're adorable. So I found Hector and I found Miguel. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if you've seen other ones because I will go to a couple different Dollar Trees to see if I can pick up the whole collection of these to do her cake with. But I did grab those. Now my godson, if you guys have been following me, you know that my godson is nonverbal autistic and he's, he loves certain things that he collects and toys and he is on a kick of going through board games and taking out the pieces like the Monopoly pieces and dice. Well, I went to go play Yahtzee the other day with the kids and there was no dice in there. So I did pick up a pack of dice for that. I'm in school full time and I just thought these little note, um, what are these, sticky notes, kind of like page flags. They're so cute. I love the case that it's in and it's in cherries and there's so much in here. So you get those sheets. Look at the little cherries and the note sheets and the page savers. So grab that for school. I always repurchase craft supplies. You guys will see a ton of craft supplies in this Dollar Tree haul. This is just the three pack of the little canvases. The kids love to take these kind of things to the park and go paint and do different, you know, landscape things that they see, flowers. So I will always pick up the canvases at the Dollar Tree when I come across them. And more crafting ideas is they have these little wooden dice. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Nightmare Before Christmas, but Oogie Boogie 
has dice and he throws them and they're red dice with little skulls on them. So we are going to be painting these as the Oogie Boogie dice. So hopefully that comes out good. We picked up two of those. The girls are really into bedazzling and painting their jeans. So I did come across the 3D paint. I'm gonna look for a couple more colors. This was the only one they had and this one is permanent. 3D fabric paint and does it say what color? It's like a fluorescent little pinky color. But it would be nice to be able to find white and black. Another thing I picked up for crafting is I'm on a thing where it's like a new hobby that I have started doing is I'm painting baby dolls and dolls and stuff and turning them into Frankenstein, you know, the Bride of Frankenstein, Chucky, doing all of the horror movies in doll form. And I just thought she would make a beautiful bride of Frankenstein. I'm just going to completely repaint her. The paint on these dolls come off really well with um, no polish remover. So hopefully cross your fingers for me guys it comes out I only picked up one to try that way if it doesn't work I'm not stuck with a bunch of doll heads that I have nothing to do with more crafting I've been working with my Cricut like crazy lately ladies I have been on a ball with my Cricut so my daughter like I mentioned before loves Coraline so I have a Coraline SVG cut file that I picked up and we are going to be making some Coraline mugs for her and these are really good quality these are heavy duty mugs I picked one in the white and one in the black. This is gonna be a long video, guys. I do apologize for that. I will try to get along as fast as I can. Always a repurchase are these little pencils. They, they, the girls will use them all the way down to where they're nubs. They put these in their little tote bags. Like I told you, when they go to the park, they like to doodle and draw. And it's the dual sided, so it's nice. It's, you know, it's more compressed to have in their little um, pencil pouches in their bags. For the Cricut on making cards and stuff lately, because I ventured off into making cards on top of doing the vinyl. This is a 200 piece, I believe, um, paper pack of all different shapes and sizes and textures of paper. So we are gonna give that a whirl with the Cricut and see what we can make with that. Along with the crafting, like I said I got a lot of crafting supplies. I did pick up a sketchbook for each one of the girls. Wolf's not into drawing as much as like I thought Wolf would be. He's more into, um, he likes creating video games, so that's his niche right now. But the girls have always been into art. So these are the sketchbooks from the artist line. You get 50 sheets in here, and it's medium weight, so it works really well with the um, colored pencils. Moving along, let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna go for random, guys. Thought this was good for our travel um, box for when we go on trips. I like to have uh, travel size items for toiletries. And this is the Pond's Purify and Refresh. You only get 10 face wipes in here, but it's perfect for a weekend trip. So that will be going in there. Always pick the kids up gum. Everybody likes to have it in the car, in their bags, things like that. So it's a five pack. That's kind of boring, of course. I did get a new uh, range and a new microwave and a new dishwasher and I've noticed that the kids need these kind of things in order for things not to blow up in my microwave because I'm tired of wiping it out every single day. So just got a plate cover to save me some time from having to clean that up. I've told you guys before I've been teaching all the kids how to make things from scratch. I feel like it's very important um, to teach your kids how to cook things and not just open a box and read it directions but to make a real recipe from scratch. I like these parchment liners. We do have the permanent silicone liners which the girls use to make cookies and stuff but I just like these for quick cleanup when you're making whether you're baking or you're making veggies or you're doing you know wrapped salmon. These parchment papers are worth a dollar twenty-five to me. You could probably get a roll of parchment paper for cheaper, but I like that these are already cut out and you get 10 sheets in each one of them. Um, seasonings, might as well get all this stuff out of the way. I got the container for Rhiannon to take to work to put in her locker so that she can have all her goodies that she needs as far as snacks and things like that. So that's why I picked that one up. But I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree before. They've always had, I think, the baking one, the canola oil one, but I've never seen the coconut oil one from Azul. So I picked up one to give it a try. If it's pretty good, I might pick up a couple more to have inside the pantry. I love picking up my spices at the Dollar Tree. They always have some interesting ones. Plus you can come across name brand ones sometimes. So I did get this Kelowna. Col I think that's how you say it, Kelowna. This is the Gourmet Beer Can Chicken Seasoning Rub. And I thought I would let the kids try this because we are gonna be teaching them how to grill. We are mostly vegetarian in the house, but occasionally we still do eat meat because the kids aren't strict that way. 
We just chose to, to do less meat in our diet for a little bit healthier lifestyle. But for the nights that we do like to grill, we did pick up that one. And they have this one too, and it's a gourmet burger seasoning. So grab those. Ba imitation bacon bits for their salads. And that one is name brand, that's McCormick. Some thyme leaves for a couple recipes we have coming up. And I realized I didn't have any more thyme left. <laughs> that sounds funny to say that, doesn't it? No more thyme left. And then the cilantro leaves are always good to have. And I got two of the chopped onions. And oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell how amazing these brooms smell. These are eucalyptus brooms. And we are going to be decorating them with some crystals and some other little magical goodies. But they smell, oh my gosh, so good. So I picked up two of those. Moving along, okay, I'm kind of sad because this has to be in the car. I picked up this hair clip because it's the moon. It's so beautiful. They had another one that I picked up that had like a shooting star. I think it fell out in the bag and it's in the car. But guys, for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, you get one of these. If you go on to Shein, because I did do, I have a huge Shein order that is coming in. Um, I ordered a two pack for a dollar of the Silver Moons because I wanted a pair. So not always at the Dollar Tree is it a super good deal, but these were pretty, so I did pick them up. Always, always a repurchase. Let's see if I think there's a ton of these on the table. Are the Ioni Lashes? My girls absolutely love them. I'll wear lashes once in a great while if I feel like being a little dramatic. But I said before, I've been blessed with really nice eyelashes, so I don't really have to accentuate that feature. So thank goodness. But my girls love playing with them. So we bought three of the Natural Light Wispy of these ones. These ones are the Natural Doll. I feel like these ones are a little bit more thicker. And they wanted to learn how to do the individual lash extensions, so we picked up a couple packs of them to try, see if they can figure out how to use them. Ioni's pretty good. If you can't find Ioni lashes and you're looking for them and you can't find them at the Dollar Tree, look in your stores like at Burlington, TJ Maxx, Ross. A lot of those discount stores carry Ioni products, and you can get them in like a four or five pack for five bucks. So just a heads up if you're looking for them and you can't find them. Our cold streak here is finally starting to slow down. We have warmer weather coming and I'm finally going to be going outside this weekend and getting my plant started. I know a lot of you might think it's a little late, but I've living here for as long as I have right now, I've kind of learned when the best time to plant your plants are. So I did pick up the little seed starter pots and I have a bunch more seeds that I bought from Walmart, but these are the ones that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is the cilantro, and you always have to have lavender in your garden. And then we did get the little greenhouse seed starting kit for that. So that's gonna be fun to do this weekend. We already picked up all of our potting soil and stuff from Lowe's. Um, where am I going with this? Okay, always get meal prep containers at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes you can find the bigger packs a lot cheaper, but I know for myself, these are the size that I go through frequently. I always go through my Tupperware, make sure I get rid of everything that's missing a lid or looks, you know, ratchet, time to get new. So these are the little snack tops. I love putting trail mix in this for everybody. I Usually what I do is all, because I have about eight of these. I take the trail mix that we make, I pre-measure them out, I put them in the snack drawer. That way when everybody's making their lunch, whether it's for school, for work, they can grab one of these and put it in their lunchbox and it's ready to go. And I like that it's the snap style. Now this is the perfect size for when I make pasta salad and stuff for lunches. This is the one cup size and you get five of them in here. Always a repurchase. And then they have the three pack of the Sure Fresh and um, you get the lids with them. I don't know what I was gonna say, I completely forgot. But those are always a repurchase when I can come across those. And then also for the, oops, I bumped it. Also for the meal prep, I always get the Sure Fresh, um, the 10 reusable cups with the lids. These are perfect for salad dressings or if you're doing a salad and you don't want it to get soggy so you can put your tomatoes and stuff in here. This is awesome for portion control. If you guys hear any loud noise, they are doing construction outside my front yard here and it's a little loud. So I'm gonna try to get through this as soon as possible because there's so much. Okay, I think that's it. Let's get over into more of the beauty supply stuff. The girls and I are going to be doing a spa day where we do a hair treatment. We are going to be doing um, the hand mask, the face mask, and the foot mask. We're going to be doing a complete spa day. 
I just got my order from Amazon for my acrylic and my tips, so I will be doing our nails again. Got to keep up on all of it. And it's, you know, it's sandal season, so you've got to start looking good. So I did pick up, let's see, I think we got one of each color. We got a green. No, there was a blue one. So we got the green, the purple, and the pink of the microfiber hair wraps. We've bought these before, and they work just fine. For the sandal season, we just got a couple pedicure sets. Um, I got three each of these, so we each have our own Puma Stone and things like that. It's just more hygienic in my eyes to do it that way. But I just, I'm just showing you guys one of each. There's no sense for me to show you all the ones I picked up. So this one comes with the nail separator, the the clips, and the Puma Stone and the um, <laughs> nail brush. And we did pick up three of the two-in-one foot files. You can never have your feet nice enough for sandal weather, and it's finally nice enough. I always pick up these washcloths because I'm old school. Um, my, nightly, my nightly routine is I wash my face with ivory soap and I use a washcloth and then I put on moisturizer and I'm good to go. I don't do all that fancy oils and stuff. And then I, for my, mo like my moisturizer, I use ponds, like old school ponds in the tub and it works just fine. Needed some band-aids, so we just got these TX, T Expressions band-aids. They're just bright colored band-aids. I have been doing a lot of hairstyles using the foam rollers and the spiral rollers. So I did pick up this hair bonnet and I like this one because it's larger. So it'll fit over my head with my hair and curlers and I will be able to sleep comfortably. And I just thought it was really pretty with the black and gold. So I grabbed that one for myself. Always need hair ties in my house. My boys have long hair so I get them these ones. And this is goodie and you get a 15 pack for $1.25. And for $1.25, we got a 10-pack of the Enchante Girls. I just like the vibrant colors. Like I said, you can never have too many ponytail holders. Oh, a craft item that snuck away from me. This is the DIY Fashion Gems, and it comes with the Fashion Super Glue so that you can bling out. It's kind of like the Bedazzler, and my kids are all about bedazzling everything right now, so that is really cute. So we picked those up. Um, we did get three of the exfoliating foot treatment masks. We've never seen these before, so we thought we would give it a try. We've tried the other foot masks, the little sheet masks that they have before, and they were pretty decent. So now, oh, wait, nope, two more. I'm lying. I got three more art supplies, and then I'll show you some of the other cleaning supplies and food supplies that I picked up. I need a stenciling brush. I don't know how good this brush is, but I think it'll work for the project that I'm doing. I also needed a fine point Sharpie and white acrylic paint. That is for an upcoming project I've been working on. All right, I love these kind of things. I keep sauce packets, gravy packets, seasoning in my cabinet because even if you're down to white rice and noodles, you can always make a meal in a pinch, especially this day and age where the price is going high on everything and empty shelves starting to happen again. It's always good to have a little you know, backup plan in your cabinets. So I did pick up two of the country gravies and these are the big packs. It makes two cups and you can either do it with milk or water. It comes out pretty much the same. I picked up an, al uh, <laughs> an almond milk and I picked up two of the whole milk just to have in the cabinet, like I said, for emergencies because we finally are starting to wean down some of the, you know, pandemic supplies that we have gone through and, and we've gone through quite a bit i've tried to make sure that we're using up everything and rotating it as we go to make sure nothing goes to waste the girls want to make strawberry cake pops so we just got the traditional little strawberry feels very um cake mix and we just got the small cream cheese frosting that way they can make their cake pops i thought this would be fun for the kids to have when they just want to make breakfast and i'm at school or i'm super busy this one just add water and milk and it's the triple berry muffin mix. So grab two of those. And my kids love cinnamon toast crunch. And I try not to buy a bunch of variety of cereals because like I told you before, sometimes they are on cereal kicks. Now my son is a cereal killer. He'll go through some cereal, but the girls just, they, it goes in and out. But this is a family size cinnamon toast crunch version of the Dulce de Leche. So this one is good until July 4th. So I figured I'd pick it up for them to have. Like I said, I've been really slowing down on purchasing some things. Um, the kids needed more toothpaste in their bathroom, so I just got the Crest 3D white. All right, cleaning stuff. I picked up these little dryer balls because I like the fact that it kind of picks up the cat hair because we do have cats and it, and it gets rid of the static. Everything's been really static lately. 
Um, two of the Fabulosas. I got one with vinegar, which I've never tried before, and my favorite purple Fabuloso. I needed this because I used this to clean off my... My stove is black and um, stainless steel front, but the top of my burners are black, and it has the huge burner grates. So I pretty much got this to clean the stove with. Then they had some Method hand soap, but I know they sell this at Target. And this one's in Waterfall. I just picked up one because I have a ton of hand soap still left from the last time I picked up some. And then they have these huge bags. These bags are almost four and a half pounds of laundry detergent. I bought three of these. I've already tried one and it works really good. If you're in a pinch and you need laundry soap for $1.25 to get that many pounds of laundry soap, awesome deal. So I did grab that. And this was something i never seen before, and it's the Magic Power Multi-Purpose Cleaner with Hydrogen Peroxide. I was really trying not to butcher that, and I did anyways. It has peroxide in it. It says, removes tough soap scum and hard water stains. We have extremely hard water here, like horrible. So I'm hoping that will help with that. And I was thinking in my head, if it has hydrogen peroxide in it, let's see if I can get it out again. I might be able to use it for when the kids have had they have a nosebleed or anything like that. Um, it says, oh, it says or clothing. Okay, so you'd have to, oh, obviously if you're going to treat clothing, you'd have to wash it out right away. I'll give it a try if it works on treating blood stains or anything like that. I will let you guys know. But I mainly got it to see if I can get the hard water off of the shower door and whatnot. So that is my super big Dollar Tree haul. I know it was a long one. And if you guys have stuck around this long, I just want to say thank you very much. I know I'm rusty. I haven't been doing hauls for a while, so I appreciate your kindness. And with that being said, guys, if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos. And as always, family, don't forget to be kind, inspire, be inspired, and I will see you soon with another video because I'm filming about four more after this one. Bye, guys. I will see you soon.